Fora TV. The world is thinking. I think many of you know that the EU has a tradition of, um, of being led by what's called a presidency. Every six months, a different EU government is in the presidency for those six months. Um, currently, it's Germany. There's nothing wrong with that in principle. It's a way of you know, highlighting the, the equality of all EU members. But again, the practice sort of gets in the way because the EU has decided that for the most part it will only speak through its presidency. And so that means, you know, who is going to deal with Sudan on Darfur? Well, these six months it's going to be Germany. Next six months it's going to be Portugal. The six months after that will be France. On and on and on. To defend human rights effectively, you've got to stick with an issue. You know, if you just sort of put out a protest and go home, the governments quickly figure out that they can weather that protest and then proceed as they always did. So the way to get things done is to really be in a government's face, to stick with it you know, day after day, month after month, year after year. And ultimately, they get the, the, the idea that you know, this, this difficulty they're encountering, the stigma, this, this, this problem in their diplomatic or economic relations, isn't going to go away until they change their human rights practices. And that's how you, you make progress. But if the EU you know, they're putting people up every six months who've got to spend the first three months figuring out, you know, where is Uzbekistan exactly? You know, and then, you know, learning about, you know, what are the politics of this country and what are the potential routes for influence? And, you know, it, this is not simple stuff. When you have this, you know, group of fresh faces showing up every six months, you aren't very effective. Um, probably the best example of where this goes wrong is, um, is with respect to China. Because um, the European Union's relations with China are focused around a periodic human rights dialogue. Um, now, the Chinese have figured this out. They will assign a permanent team to this dialogue. And they've become quite expert at, at fending off you know, what, whatever criticisms, whatever comments are thrown their way. Um, and they've been doing this for years, and, and you know, they've heard it all. And so they're very successful in just making sure that whatever happens in the dialogue room basically doesn't affect anybody else. It's just a little exchange that goes away. The European Union, on the other hand, is constantly outclassed because they have a new group of people every six months leading the dialogue, you know, who are just figuring out you know, what the political dynamics in China are. Now, there's another way to do it. Um, you don't have to change the whole leadership process in the EU. That would be asking too much. You know, the, the idea of rotation is important to them because it does highlight the equality of the 27. But there's nothing in the EU constitution or methods of proceeding or what have you that would preclude assigning a group of countries permanently to a particular problem. Um, that is to say, rather than have people you know, finding Darfur every six months, why not assign a group of countries permanently to the Darfur problem? They can still take their guidance from you know, the, the, the presidency of that six months, but why not develop some real expertise, you know, some real follow through, some stick with itness? Um, now, in fact, the EU has begun to figure out that this might be a good thing to do. They just haven't done it yet in the human rights realm. Um, on the question of Iran's nukes, there now is a permanent troika that is assigned, um, Germany, France, and Britain, that are you know, developing expertise. They realize that the Iranian problem is not going to go away in six months. So they better sort of learn how to solve it over the long term. Um, they recently assigned another troika to deal with Somalia, which looked like it was a, you know, a chaotic and potentially long-term problem. But they haven't yet done this on human rights. Um, the, the one thing they do, sort of a concession to a bit of continuity, is the, this concept of a troika. Um, they, in addition to the presidency, they have a, um, not only you know, sort of this six months presidency, but also next six months will join them as well as sort of somebody from the European Commission. And this is called a troika. But it still is a troika of sort of the recently arrived, rather than a strong troika or a troika of expertise. They're not there yet. And so once more, you know, they are, um, their own procedures are rendering them much, much less effective than, than should be the case.